What is going on YouTube? Hayden back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Cardano, as well as the S&P 500. As you guys know, I like to do a different cryptocurrency here on the channel every single week. So definitely make sure to comment your favorite altcoin down in the comment section below so I can pick one and review it starting on Monday. More importantly, what we're going to be looking at in today's episode is the recent consolidation that is what I believe is starting to happen within most of the major cryptocurrencies as we've seen a pretty substantial impressive run on most of the cryptocurrencies if not all of them uh, where prices are exploding past not only resistances but into extremely overbought levels across all the cryptos xrp ethereum bitcoin we're even seeing cardano seeing these major runs and what i'm really looking for right now as i still do believe we are in a bullish market is just some sort of consolidation to help us continue to run to the upside because as we know markets trading and extremely overbought levels can't really hold that much you know resistance and they kind of need to consolidate down a little bit just to allow themselves to pump even higher now i am curious uh what you guys have to think about this as you guys can see the little bitcoin light i have going on here i'm thinking about giving away these once again as we used to do this a couple of months ago uh i wanted to redo this back on the channel here so if you guys want to win one of these free uh definitely let me know in the comments down below what you think should we do another giveaway hopefully i think i know most of your guys answers but definitely let me know down in the comment section below now otherwise uh definitely make sure to join us over at discord as well as patreon we have over 1600 active community members in discord as well as where we talk about my trades and how i trade and sell and buy and you know buy and stuff like that all on my uh, patreon group so definitely make sure to check that out otherwise if you are new to the channel definitely make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications smash the like button for the youtube algorithm and let's jump into today's episode. All right, guys. So as you can see, yesterday's video, quite interesting. I mean, we've actually, you know, seen quite a bit of volume come back into the markets right now. And we are anticipating markets to continue to rise back to the upside. It's mainly just a waiting game as of right now as to what's the next step. You can see top 10 cryptos. We are very close to hitting that $2 trillion level that we were anticipating. It's pretty incredible to see $2 trillion floating around within cryptocurrency. But overall, top 10 cryptocurrencies do look very good. Uh, overall, in regards to the past week, we've done extremely well. Cardano up 50% XRP, one that we've been rooting for. It's also up 50% as well. The other cryptocurrencies like Doge and the other altcoins are slightly consolidating as it seems like, you know, Cardano and XRP saw the run later and Bitcoin and the other alts saw it earlier than those other altcoins. So we're starting to see this consolidation kind of take over the markets right now. Um, top 10 cryptocurrencies, things look good. And then looking into these, you can see we have the XRP chart, we have a Ethereum, we have Bitcoin, we have Cardano. They're all kind of showing signs of uncertainty at the top levels right here as they are trying to break through them, not really having much luck. We discussed yesterday that if we were to close above these top resistances here, we would be buying into leverage to the upside. And pretty much majority of them did actually manage to close ever so slightly above that resistance, uh, Cardano being the number one. But um, XRP really didn't see the biggest close that we were looking for. I mean, we did see that small close yesterday. And this is enough for me to say, okay, Okay, we can still buy in, although it is getting more and more risky as these were uh, more of a short term leverage trade, especially because of how overbought we were recently. And there's a good chance we could still pump higher. Now, looking at Bityard, and hopefully you guys are familiar with the Bityard exchange. Basically, it's one of the exchanges we've been using here on the channel for a couple of months now. They've been doing extremely well. Uh, we've been using them. They've been updating their systems, making it much more beginner and user friendly. As you know, we do have the demo and live accounts as well as just leverage trading this. But really what I'm talking about, what I'd like to talk about is I do have the XRP chart pulled up right here on uh, the trading view uh, live chart that they have pulled up here. And you can kind of see uh, the top resistances that I would like to just draw out for you guys in regards to are we breaking through top resistances? Are we just balancing them or battling them right now? I'm just trying to draw it out so we can get a better overview. And you can see we can kind of extend it like this. And then you can kind of see how we are kind of hitting the tops here. There is some sort of uptrend, some sort of support that we can also kind of you know figure out as well this is a support we have our resistance right here pulling ourselves lower so i mean we are tweaking it ever so slightly to work in our favor in 
in regards to us hitting the top resistances. But I just want to give you guys a better overview and look as to what exactly we're, we're dealing with right here. So you can see there is still some sort of big symmetrical triangle. Um, whether or not we can move this up higher or lower, it really doesn't matter. You can see for the most part, we are hitting this resistance. We are creating uh, lower highs. And that is still a thought process to me as to why I still believe we could see some consolidation. Even if it's slight, I still think we've pretty much proven that we are still in a bull market and we could still be heading up higher. So mainly right now it's consolidation, but I always recommend to definitely start trading around on the demo accounts to get used to the platform. Uh, be a little more familiar with it. You get over a hundred thousand, you get a hundred K in uh, simulation money to trade around with to basically hone in on your skills. Then when you're ready, you can switch to actually trading around with real cryptocurrency and battling it out. But really what I'm looking for right now and you can see it really depends on how you want to just, you know, market or move this, this support level. You can see we can move it just like this a little lower. And this would also be very similar in regards to where the downtrend is, where that trend line is, where our uh, bottom support is as well. You can see with what we just did, you know, confirming things on the weekly here, you can see it looks pretty accurate if you, if you, if you had to ask me. And we are still creating these lower highs, which could be just filling in the gap here. So we could see a small reversal, a small retracement that pretty much allows us to fill in this gap and I've been saying it for quite some time now here on the channel but I'm just giving guys another approach and another view of this market right now we saw a beautiful run back up from top from bottom support up to the top resistance here and now we're starting to see some consolidation granted we do look really well on the weekly chart saying that we could easily be pumping much higher but I wouldn't be surprised if in the next couple of days we see that consolidation kind of take over the market it would actually be more of a healthy thing for this coin to actually see some smaller reverse or smaller setbacks um, to allow us to kind of fill in the gap here, if not consolidate, to just lower ourselves on the relative strength indicator. Basically, what I would like to see is we are overbought. We are trading at about 80 on the relative strength indicator. Notice last time we were 80, uh, which was right about here. And here, we needed some consolidation. Prices were at a dollar. We consolidated back down to about uh, right at the peak of the overbought market. Then we exploded back up. Very possible to do that again. But what I'm looking for is is more consolidation. We've now currently retested 80 on the relative strength indicator. It looks like we need a little more consolidation and then hopefully we'll be able to break through here. Whether or not this is the accurate resistance level, I am not entirely sure. You can see there is some uncertainty trying to break us up above what could be this trend line here. So it's mainly us just figuring out what exactly is going on. But with the way these charts look, consolidation is definitely needed uh, over FOMO. So we'll see what exactly happens. But um, I'm not going to be buying into XRP just yet. Uh, if you guys have already bought in from yesterday, confirming a close above our dollar resistance, I still think you're fine. It's just allowing this market to consolidate, but I am, you know, taking my trade out. I'm going to just let these markets play out. We saw a massive run and almost doesn't make sense to be too greedy. And that's kind of the market I like to play here. We shot up from 53 cents all the way up to $1.18 with a 124% run. So with something like that, I've made enough profit that I don't want to risk uh, taking advantage of a very uh, more advanced and aggressive style of trading. I'd rather play my conservative route that's been, you know, very well for us the past couple of months. We can easily have a major run like this that, you know, allows us to make enough profit to last us a few months. Uh, and then we'll figure out and reassess the markets and maybe we'll get in for a short. So right now I'm, I'm at my toes out of the game. Uh, I'm, I'm out of the water. I just want to let this market consolidate so I can figure out another game plan. Uh, right now my concern is obviously still this top resistance right here. Are we going to be battling it, getting rejected and reversing back down to fill in this gap here? If that's the case, we'll obviously short the market. Or are we going to pump higher, close above resistance and allow us to buy back in? So it's mainly just letting the markets consolidate and using the other cryptocurrencies to help better our position. So Ethereum, you can see right here, again, having problems breaking through that top resistance that we have. And it's very easy to say, okay, maybe we'll just move it up slightly. Maybe that's where resistance is. Maybe that's where support is. Regardless, again, the same thing applies itself with Ethereum as it did with XRP. We saw a run from 1740 all the way up to uh, 3343. That's a 92% run. We've made tons of profit off this, you know, small two to three week uh, boom in the market that, you know, we're okay to take a step back and just capitalize on our runs. These charts do look a little bit better. It shows a clear resistance level for Ethereum, and it's mainly just allowing these markets to consolidate out before we get ready to buy back in. And after a 90% run, it's okay to take a breather and reassess your markets and your positions before buying back in. 
Same thing applies itself with Bitcoin as well as Cardano. Cardano approaching its all-time highs here. We broke through a massive resistance. You can see we had a major performance right here that was put on by Cardano from a dollar all the way up to about $2.25, a 120% run. It's incredible. And then the main focus is on Bitcoin, whether or not this is the top resistance or not. We have a clear cut uh, forty. Uh, $6,000. That's not even where I wanted to put that. That's another one. Hold on. Let me just draw the 40k uh, price ceiling right here. That's where we needed it to be. And you can see we did break through the recent trend line, the downtrend here. And it, to my surprise, we broke through it. Let's see if this holds its value up well. There's a good chance we could consolidate back down and either A, consolidate like this inside our you know symmetrical triangle here or consolidate inside our descending triangle using our price floor at 30k which is still there um, regardless i do think we've shown plenty of volume but i still think we're capped out i mean even if we can consider this to be a movement uh which it is it's a massive movement once again we're still considering the fact that there are lower highs at play here. Yes, we started our higher low run, and that is a good sign. Don't get me wrong. We're starting this lower high run. But if we're going to do this up to the resistance and then fall, we're not out of it just yet. It shows us that we have plenty of volume to do so, but not confirming that the breakout's happening just yet. So we're getting close, guys. I just want to see, are we going to for short close above? Are we going to close at $50,000 to break us above? Or are we going to consolidate down? I'd, I'd like to see us consolidate because that would obviously show a better opportunity. Like if 50K becomes a top resistance or 46K that we're currently at, 47K, we fall down to bottom support and then we start to rally back up and we do something like this. This would immediately show a higher high than the prior one, allowing us to say, okay, bear market's over, time for us to be bullish. But until then, I'm just going to let these markets consolidate as hopefully some of you guys know by now, there's always another opportunity to take advantage of this market. It's just a waiting game. Be patient. That's really what I've seen uh, to be the most uh, advanced thing and the most profitable way in this market is to just let consolidation happen. Be patient. If you rush things very quickly, you will miss out. Um, you know, we're not trying to make it up quick money here. We're trying to do this slowly for a long time. And that means locking in perfect positions instead of, you know, taking that big risk, that 60-40 or 50-50 chance risk, and potentially losing, which will happen. Otherwise, guys, it's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. Definitely make sure to check us out on Discord, Patreon, BitYard. Check the links in the description. Make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace. <laughs>